Um, and now moving to some of the other mega trends like autonomous car, um, car sharing, um, you know, there, there are tons of hype topics. Um, do you think that these mega trends are overrated? Yeah? Um, or are some of them just not ready yet? And what's your, what's your opinion on what's coming next and what's been overrated and not? Well, definitely autonomous vehicles. I wouldn't. I don't say overrated. I would say they've been too hyped. Too hyped. And, okay. and, and given too high expectations in terms of yeah. delivery and when it's going to be available. Yeah. Um, the technology isn't there yet. Yeah. Clearly, there's a lot that's been done, but there's a lot more yeah. that needs to be done in algorithms yeah. and artificial intelligence. Yeah. The the whole infrastructure side, policy, yeah. legal, insurance, none of that has been sorted yeah. out. No. And not only that, this combination of autonomous vehicles with human-driven vehicles, that's going to be a long, long time before it's possible. Yeah. Geofenced areas with only autonomous vehicles, yes, that will happen and we'll see that soon. Yeah. But truly autonomous intermixed with human-driven, when we only know 12% of the human brain, that kind of programming and, and, and machine learning is going to take a long time. Yeah. So I think we've been too aggressive with that. Many okay. of the automakers are now coming and saying, we're not going to have this in yeah. 2018, 19, 20. Yeah. We're not going to deliver it till it's ready. It's yeah. safe. Yeah. Um, and that's the right way to, to be thinking about it. Yeah. Other trends that I think we're, we're going to continue to grow and may be underrated are micro-mobility. Ways to okay. manage the first mile, last mile, so that people have a way to get to public transit or you know, have a way to get around a city without clogging the city. Excellent, yeah. Um, yeah. But I don't think the cities are ready yet in terms of putting in the, the safety features and the roadways and dividing yeah. up the roadways properly yeah. to enable that safety. We've seen a big decrease in deaths in, in traffic. Yeah. car to car, yeah. but we're seeing an increase now in pedestrian deaths. Yes. And that's partly because we don't have the right infrastructure yeah. with what the people are demanding again, yeah. which is micro-mobility solutions. Yes, I mean a lot, of, a lot of people are saying that we need less cars in cities and we need to offer some alternative ways of safe transport. Yeah. Undoubtedly, yeah. autonomous pods. Some yeah. of the companies, the startups that are showing these little one-person pods. Yeah. When we think about our grain society, especially yeah. the 65 plus that are going to outlive their driver's license by 10 years, they can't ride a bike and they're not going to get on a scooter. Yes. So what do we need to provide for yeah. them to be able to get around yeah. um, and, and, and do it safely? Yeah. And that means we need to completely turn upside down how we yeah. do urban planning. Yeah. Stop designing around roadways and start designing around how people want to live in that yeah. city. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. Thank